It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wackerush Gaming. When I woke up this morning, the birds were tweeting, the sun was shining, and the roses were blooming. Valentine's Day is here and this gorilla truly loves all of you. Sending lots of love on San Valentine's Day. To this video, I wanted to share with you some tricks and tips that I've learned in regards to the new research feature Rally Enhancement. If you find my videos helpful, then show this gorilla some love by tapping on the subscribe button and like the video as it would greatly support my channel. In my previous video, I've made a full guide on the Rally Enhancement research and I explained that this feature is predominantly only for Rally leaders. If you're a Rally joiner, then you should totally just forget about spending any single dollar on this feature. I've added a link above or alternatively I've added a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Okay, so I don't know whether this is a bug or a feature. In all state of survival releases prior today, you were blocked from progressing further into the research tree and it literally forced you to go back to upgrade the previous node to max them before it allowed you to progress further. So. In order to test this theory, I had to buy all the battle enhancement bundles over the last two weeks. Looks like no bananas for this gorilla since my banana allowance has been spent on this experiment. If you're also interested in being able to buy more bananas, then the sponsors of today's video Paxify can help you. Paxify offers state of survival players 10% to 25% discount in game. Many state of survival players are already using them and have given them amazing feedback. Thanks to their amazing service, many survivors are already saving a lot of monies. Make sure you check out their link in the description below and you can have more monies in your wallet left to buy more bananas. Now, back to the Rally Enhancement research. It allows you to progress without needing to max the previous research 3 nodes. This is the first time I've seen this opportunity for a long time. So, when you look at this as a rally leader or a support rally leader, you have to ask yourself what is the most important upgrade path for you? For me, it is the rally march capacity. Would you agree? Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this. So, in my opinion, I already explained this clearly before that the rally enhancement research feature, it's a rally leader feature. And the march capacity is the golden ticket to gain advantage over your opponents. Do the minimum at all these research 3 nodes and reach as fast as you can to the emergency expansion 1 and emergency expansion 2 and get there without trying to max all the other 3 nodes prior to this. If you're a rally joiner, stop at decoy tactics 1, especially since any upgrades after decoy tactics 1 is truly just a waste of your limited resources and is purely targeted for rally leaders and support rally leaders. Separately, Another final tip, when converting the hero gear parts and hero gear designs to treasure capsules, try to keep this for the day in conjunction with key events. For example, I'm currently now participating in survival of the fittest event. So I'm minded to wait until day 4 before I should convert the hero gear part or hero gear designs to treasure capsules. So please don't rush on Monday to convert everything as I know many of you would. Wait and think because you can use it to your advantage during the journey of glory event, state versus state preparation stage and like me in the survival of the fittest event. With that being said, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to be subscribed, leave a comment, and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Send me some love as I will be lacking bananas this week.